In this video, we're going to look at how we're going to solve inclined plane problems. So for most of the free body diagram problems, the first thing you want to do is you're going to draw a free body diagram and you can do the net force equals MA. The only thing about the inclined plane you have to worry about is when you when you're doing the forces that when you're doing the force of gravity and the normal force, which is probably the two standard forces you'll have. You might have friction, you might not have friction. It depends on whether or not there's friction on the scenario, but at least you'll have these two forces acting on the block. Now, what we normally do is if the block is sliding up and down the ramp, we want to set the axes so that this is the x direction and then perpendicular to the plane is the y direction. The reason you usually want to do that is it's useful to set the, the, the axes so that the acceleration is in one direction. So in this case, if the block is sliding up or down or accelerating up or down the ramp, then it's very, very convenient to say that that acceleration is something and then the acceleration in the y direction would be zero, for example. So the next step you want to do is after you have those forces is you want to consider breaking down gravity into its component forces. One component is parallel to the x axis and one component is parallel to the y axis. In other words, in the y direction and, and um, in the x direction. Now, one thing to note is that the angle here of this ramp matches the angle right here. So that the horizontal component of the force is mg sine theta and the portion of the 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 for, uh, the gravity that's in the y direction is mg cosine theta and you want to decompose them that way you can do your net force in the x and y direction so inclined planes are exactly the same it's just the axes have been rotated so that um, the x direction is parallel to the ramp and the y direction is perpendicular to the ramp now i want to emphasize this is only true if the acceleration is up and down the ramp which it is most of the time but not all of the time so let's look at an example problem here so i have a block it's a 20 degree angles and I would like to know the direction of acceleration. I would like to know what the acceleration is equal to and assume that there's no friction here. So I have a block on this ramp is eight kilograms and then I have a two kilogram block here. Now the first thing I wanna do is draw a free body diagram that, that of, of each block. I wanna say like, well, this guy is um, mg downward or eight g downward. And then we have a normal force here Normal force always perpendicular to the surface, in this case, the surface of the ramp. And then we have a tension force pulling this way. Tension force is always pull. And that's it. There's nothing else touching the block. There's no friction. Okay, this block has two things, has one thing touching. It has gravity going down, 2G down, and then it has a tension force going upward. Now here, the question is, is which way is it accelerating? Is it accelerating this way or this way? It kind of depends. We don't really know. Let's set an orientation to where the acceleration is down this is this way and this block is accelerating up this way. Okay, we do that for convenience because I haven't done the calculations. I don't know which way it's actually accelerating. If we do it this and A ends up being negative, then that means it's accelerating in the opposite direction than we thought. So once we do that, we now need to decompose this, this gravitational force into its, and this is 20 degrees, it matches the incline. And then this component of the force is 8g sine 20 degrees. And this component of the force is 8g cosine 20 degrees. Okay. Then we look at the net force equals ma for both the x and the y direction. Now let's look at the, this block here. For the x direction, it has tension going up the ramp and um, 8g sine 20 degrees going down the ramp. So uh, we're going to say up the ramp is the positive direction because I usually make the positive direction the direction I think it's accelerating. So in this case, when I do my net force, I'm going to say T minus 8G sine 20 degrees. Okay, that's because T is going up the ramp, 8G sine 20 degrees going down the ramp. And that equals uh, MA, the mass of the free body diagram I block is 8 times A. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's that part. And then the y direction is not as important or useful in this problem, but that the net force in the y direction is zero because it's not accelerating up or, like perpendicular to the ramp. So we would say the net forces is zero, or in other words, we would say Fn has to equal 8g cosine 20 degrees. Okay, 
Now for the two kilogram block, when we say the net force equals ma, we'll say down is positive. Why down positive? Because the acceleration of the, this block I said is downward. And so um, I'm gonna say, uh, set the downward to be the positive direction, the direction it's accelerating. So then I say 2g minus t is equal to ma, the mass of this block is 2, 2a. Okay, so now you have these two equations, and if you notice, if you add them together, the t's will cancel from this equation to this equation. This becomes 10a. The t minus t cancels, I get 2g minus 8g sine 20 degrees. Now here I'd have to use a calculator to decide what is... Um, uh, 8 uh, sine 20 times 9.8 and then 2 times 9.8 minus that oops I got this is negative 7.214 is equal to 10 a and then I can solve for a it's negative 0.72 meters per second squared what that means is it's actually, I had it wrong, it's not falling, it's actually this block is sliding down this way and this guy's going up at 7, 0.72 meters per second squared. That means my guess was wrong, but it's important to establish a direction that you think the guess is in to make sure all the positive and the negative signs are set correctly, okay?